last race, the last race. Here we go. How many has it been? Practice and qualifying for everybody at practice each day again. So everybody's had three practices and five racings. Eight to nines give you the mess, folks. Eight nines. How big? How big? It has been a massive weekend. 72 events and we're ready. Are we what? And the big charge is on for these girls as they fire their way up and over. It's over. Here we are, ready to rock for the final time. Oh, Jess, 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 not a good start for Jess. She's well back there. Jess Harris, well, bit of a hiccup for Jess. She'll be hoping she can still keep on the points. Uh, Brad, give us a run through of the uh, points for uh, these ladies and just to, to see where we are. We've got Rihanna, she is on 97 with her uh, pretty good weekend reign, is in second place and then the tie for three NZ. Jess Harris and Casey Goode, 78 points each. So the points tie and not what the doctor ordered for Team Stratford New World work to do. We need that uh, super mechanic Dion Henson on the pit board to uh, get the message across. Uh, this is going to be all on here. So we've got uh, 10 minutes plus a lap to decide our uh, national champion for Junior Women's 125-250 racing. Brought to us by 100% goggles. And uh, Brianna Rogers, 10 point lead, needs to carry on in her winning ways if uh, we're going to lock away a national championship for her, but uh, certainly getting exciting here. Here it is, uh, coming up, completing flying lap number one for these girls. It's uh, Brianna. Oh, the number one four machine. Then go back to Rain uh, Alaposio, second place. Third for uh, Casey. Then go to Michaela. Well done to Michaela Griffiths. This is a good performance. Uh, sitting in fourth place, Jess uh, there in fifth. So uh, that uh, one there, only a couple of seconds separating third through to uh, fifth on the racetrack. And uh, pretty much a winner-take-all situation for Jess Harris and Casey Gooch. So uh, let's get it behind these two Taranaki ladies. Who's going to bring home three NZ? That's uh, providing we have uh, Rihanna and uh, Rain carry on one and two. So certainly nothing in it at the moment. Uh, look at this. Certainly uh, something to look out for. Keep an eye on that time. And these are uh, little short and sharp motos. So just uh, 11 or 12 minutes plus a lap for these girls. And uh, the crescendo curtain coming down on our Aon New Zealand Junior Motocross Championships. Uh, brilliant day. We've been on the pace today. No real holdbacks. And uh, great to have us uh, underway getting ready geared up for our prize giving at uh, Pukekura Park Raceway. Tickets still available for the meal there as well in the club room. So uh, if you want to have your meal at the club rooms, uh, at the prize giving, sorry, tickets available uh, in the club room. So check it out. We'll be there and uh, excited to bring us the prize giving. Right, Aon New Zealand Junior Champs. Uh, well, we've seen some phenomenal performances so far. We're going to give them, celebrate them in style. But at the moment, Brianna Rogers uh, needs to hang on. She's got the 10 point lead in the championship. Decent lead in this race. And uh, we're about halfway through it. That's uh, second for Reyna Lafosio. And then uh, that battle for third, Jess Harris around the outside. Side to side down the Aon back straight. Casey just launches a little bit further. But this is all on. Get the pit boards out because 3NZ rests on whoever finishes in front of the other one. Uh, right here, right now. So uh, halfway through this race, and uh, this is exactly what the fans have hung around for. It's going to be all on here. Can we get uh, something going on here? Brianna is in the lead by a comfy uh, 25 bike lengths. Then Rain Alaposio, she's been good all weekend and uh, got a decent little points buffer between second and third. It's Casey ahead of Jess. All on for three ends there.
There we go. Shout out to uh, Michaela Griffiths as well. That's uh, fifth place in the race, and she's uh, certainly uh, on her way to being 5NZ in this illustrious class. Now, uh, 8 to 11 years, 85cc junior ladies champion from 20-odd uh, months ago at Tech Park. Now made the big step up to that 125 and uh, top five result on the cards here for uh, the likeable Taupo lady on the Craig Stevens motorcycles uh, machine, but uh, check it out. Meanwhile, while those uh, three-way fight for second place is on, Brianna creeps off into the distance. We've got uh, Brain, Casey, and uh, Jess all in there. Nothing between them. Here we go for uh, the number 22 of uh, Alana Wood, getting better and better as this championship has gone on. So a good performance there. The 61 of uh, Libby uh, Lashamida uh, there. So uh, that's the update there for 7th and 8th place with uh, Ella Burns in 9th and Abby Morrissey uh, running the top 10. Uh, Jalela Lazaros uh, there. Uh, that's 11th place for her as we wrap up our 11 runners still going. 15 entries in all, 11 still uh, in circulation out on the racetrack. So uh, checking it out, I think... Uh, have a look at that. We've got a major big shake up there. We missed it out the back, but now we've got a change. Not only has uh, Jess got up into third, she's got up into second as well. So this is a major one. Advantage uh, Team Stratford New York, Brianna. She's out and gone with that massive advantage at the moment. She's got the 10 point points uh, lead. But now have a look at second place. Uh, the local Taranaki lady on the 128 machine. Go Team Stratford New World Racing. This is exciting. We've also got uh, Casey. Uh, putting on a bit of pressure on our Australian visitor, Rain. They go side by side into that beautiful off camber sweeping left hander, and Casey right around the outside. That's a good move. So she gets up into three. Brianna ticks off yet another lap. Just looking at the clock, we've got two minutes 36, so we'll get a couple more laps in. But here's Jess up into second place, right under Jess. Here's Casey in third, giving chase. Uh, she's got to go for it. Rain now drops back into fourth place, but uh, she's got. A nine-point buffer between her and uh, uh, Jess and Casey, so uh, if she hangs in there, uh, she'll still be able to hang on to two NZ. And uh, well done, Missy, there uh, in uh, fifth place. So, uh, oh, this is getting uh, exciting. We've got uh, still uh, three odd laps to go. Uh, we believe here the clock is against them. When the clock expires, the white flag will go out on the next lap around for our leader, but it's looking like she might just sneak a couple more in on this final race. And as they... Uh, a go at the moment. Brianna Rogers, then Jess Harris, Casey Gooch, and then Lorraine Alafoxio. Uh, that's how they're going in the race, but uh, overall it will be Brianna Rogers, Rain Alafoxio, and Jess Harris for Stratford New World 3NZ, so it's going to be uh, all on here. Shout out there to uh, Brooke Daly on the uh, 139 KTM 250 machine. It's uh, great to see our ladies in action, a real uh, feature of our sport. And uh, for the first time officially as a uh, junior women's class last nationals at Tech Park. And now uh, to get 15 entries in this class is certainly a uh, awesome showing and uh, a real uh, showcase of our sport. Brianna out in front, Jess in second. Then we've got Casey in third. We've still got Rain there in fourth place as well. So uh, that is unchanged at the moment. As we're gearing up for... Our uh, junior nationals to come to a uh, crescendo. It's through the rollers, our race leader. Fastest qualifier, went out and got a win, had to settle for second in race two, but then two more wins back to back, uh, three and four. Takes that 10 point lead into this one. And uh, the 1 1 4 Brianna Rogers on that blue crew, Craig Stevens Yamaha, that has just been absolutely brilliant all weekend. Another lap in the books, still no white flags, so the time will expire on this pass around, so uh, two laps to go now for these ladies. Here's Jess Harris, uh, two in the race, and if she can hang on to that, that'll be going a long way towards a uh, three NZ showing. Casey Gooch has tried hard to that uh, third place there. There's Rain, you'll see Rain up there, that's uh, uh, going to be uh, fourth place with a nine point uh, lead over the two girls behind her. Should be able to hang on to that two ends in if she can hang on to fourth. Well done. This is uh, 
not been an easy task this Mac 1 motocross park for the three days. Grueling, challenging conditions. And our ladies have uh, been absolutely phenomenal. As uh, we check it out, update you on our top 11 runners. We've got uh, Brianna Rogers out in front. Jess Harris, Casey Good, Sam Reynolds, Ross Young, Ahead, Michaela Griffiths Brook down there. Now that is a uh, sixth place there. Ella Burns in seventh. Alana Wood there in eighth place ahead of Abby Morrissey. Uh, then uh, Jalala uh, Mazaros there in 10th. Emmy Miller, well done to Emmy on that uh, unforeseen uh, featured weekend bike, uh, the 121. And then go back to 12th, which is uh, Libby. Lashaman uh, out there doing it. Uh, this is going to be brilliant. Rihanna coming back into our uh, view here at uh, Mac 1 Motocross Park around and heading up the A on back straight. Uh, this will be the penultimate time this happens. The white flag ready and waiting. Time has expired on the uh, race duration. And the white flag ready to come out next pass around. Great to see the crowd still in here. We're uh, getting excited. Got a bit of a pack up to do. And then uh, we're heading to our awesome prize giving Pukukura Park Raceway. We're checking it out. Uh, we are nearly there. And uh, Brianna's going to feel pretty good about this. She's been. Uh, uh, three out of four wins so far. She's well on her way here in race number five for the weekend. Over the tunnel jump and uh, in the right hander. There is uh, just Horsepower Hill, White Flag, and another lap to go. Jess Harris, Casey Gooch, there is still not much in that fight there. Has there another twist in the tail here for these two ladies? White flag is waving. The 128 of Jess Harris has got one lap to hang on and she can lock away three NZ. Casey Gooch giving chase, she's not going to give up either, there's uh, less than two seconds in that one there, so uh, still absolutely anyone's, <laughs> is there something special left in this class here, we've got the number 20 of uh, Rain Alaposio, awesome to have our Australian visitors uh, over here, she finds herself fourth in the race, but uh, with that nine point gap, uh, she's only going to lose uh, about uh, four points to Jess, so uh, that will mean uh, lock away 2NZ for her, and uh, getting pretty excited here. Jess Harris, Casey Gooch, let's keep an eye on this battle here. Brianna Rogers, she is out and gone. And only a mistake here, surely you'd think would cost uh, Brianna. As uh, the two girls in behind her is uh, less than a second out. It's visibly quite a lot closer on the track. Track's getting rough and rugged, cannot afford to make a mistake. We've got to keep an eye on the bottom end of uh, Mac 1 Motocross Park. That's where the uh, race leaders are at the moment. And uh, certainly starting to gear it up. Rihanna Rogers, you can see her up the step up for the final time in the final lap of the final race of the AM New Zealand Junior Championships. Then we look at Jess Harris, still got that second place ahead of Casey Gooch. So uh, can you see anything happening here? It's going to have to take something special from Casey. Half a lap to go to hang on. Number three, NZ, is on the line here. And uh, Casey just goes wide, gets caught up a little bit, gives a little bit of room back to Jess. So uh, I think now, if Jess can keep it neat and tidy from here, she's going to go a long way. But uh, let's uh, look at celebrating our uh, champion-elect. Just the roller section of the wall and a couple of corners to go. It has been a pretty dominant performance. Fastest qualifier. And if she can hang on to this one here, it'll be four out of five race wins for the weekend. On the Craig Stevens Motorcycles, YZ125. Here it is, Blue Crew Yamaha, Brianna Rogers, one more corner, and Horsepower Hill, and we've got ourselves a new national champion of 125, 250 women's racing. Well done to Brianna, takes it in style. And a national championship, here's Jess Harris, well done, Stratford New World Racing, and we're gonna get it done. And lock away, three NZ, Casey chased hard and never gave up, and that was a fantastic fourth place overall. We're looking to see Rain, if she can come home, she can't really afford to let Michaela go inside her because uh, she doesn't have enough points to give away. There we go, oh, Michaela's gone up the inside. What a performance, uh, Michaela Griffiths. She's got better and better as the weekend's gone on. And uh, Rain's gonna come back on the inside. This is gonna be a big run to the line. I think Rain's gonna need these points if she can hang on to them. Michaela's gonna go, and I think it's gonna be yes, Michaela. So Michaela's gonna hang on ahead of Rain. And now with the nine points between uh, Rain and Jess, Jess getting the 22, Rain only getting the 16. It's only going to be about uh, six points, I think. So still going to be rain, I think, for two NZ. But uh, that's going to be mighty interesting to uh, see how that unfolds. But that's the update. Rounder Rogers, our new national champion for women's 125, 250 racing, brought to us by 100%.
uh, with uh, Rain Alfosio and Jess Harris, our two and three NZ. Well done and a shout out to uh, Casey Gooch, uh, Never Say Die in fourth place there. That's a, a bit of a wrap for us uh, there. And uh, we will see you guys at prize giving. I'll hand you over to Neil to we'll do a uh, sign off. And uh, we'll start getting excited about the prize giving later on. Yeah, thank you, Brad, indeed. And uh, I'm just trying to recall at the moment of the, how many new champions that we've got this year. It's fantastic. All those three classes of the women, for a start, they're all first-time New Zealand champions. You cannot take that away from them. A New Zealand champion, it's something special. So they thoroughly deserve it. So congratulations to Karaitiana, to Brianna, and in there as well, of course, with our what, young class, to Hannah. So uh, well done, girls. And what about... Uh, Wills, of course, that we've uh, got also, so uh, great to see. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, hearty congratulations to them all. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, just get the last of these ones uh, come up the hill, and uh, we'll be able to uh, do a wrap today. Big thanks to uh, Rockworks in conjunction with uh, 100% and uh, Tool Hire Taranaki as our uh, sponsors for our uh, women's racing today. Well, what a massive weekend. There we go, folks. Uh, almost uh, just a little after 20 past uh, two. So an absolutely fantastic program. Of course, Friday we uh, had our uh, dramas with uh, our injury uh, rate in the early part of the event. And uh, luckily things had settled down since then from a, 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 rider, a riding quality point of view.